Phil, let's take you through some of the other action, including a disturbing afternoon for Urban Meyer and Ohio State. His quarterback, Cardell Jones, struggling early, taking on Northern Illinois, has it picked off by Sean Lurie. NIU would score a few plays later after the 33-yard return, and it is the Huskies on top, and then Jones, deja vu all over again. Lurie picks him off, two first-half interceptions, and uh, you got 10 points off of those turnovers, and Urban goes to JT Barrett. Second quarter, Barrett to Michael Thomas. Nice grab. Barrett ended up 11 of 19 for 97 yards and a touchdown. It's tied up at 10. To the third quarter we go. 13-10 Buckeyes after Barrett had thrown a pick. Drew Hare has it picked off by Darren Lee. Great play by Lee who brings it in for the touchdown. So they trade interceptions. Urban still not entirely satisfied, I think it's fair to say. Hare. Has it broken up by Cam Burrows in a 20 to 13 game on a fourth and 10? And despite five turnovers, Ohio State beats a game at Northern Illinois team, a team that has been very good in recent years. But obviously, you expect a much better result if you are the defending national champs, as the Buckeyes are. They do win for the 55th time in the last 58 non conference home games, 16 straight wins overall. Longest winning streak in the nation. Urban Meyer now 41 and 3 as the Buckeyes head coach had this to say afterward. You know, there might be some truth to that. And uh, not that I'm going to call up some armchair people and ask them what they think, but uh, I, I do believe in game reps, and that's how players get better. And that's something that I'm going to, you know, that's going to spend a lot of time thinking about that. Oh, great place. He's, he's one of the best players in the country. I love that kid, and he's a high-energy guy, and he's got great, he's, you know, he's uh, got offensive skill hands, and, and uh, really is a great player for us.